Okay, this is going to be a follow-up to the video that I did yesterday. And the reason that I did yesterday's video, the reason I recorded it, the reason I put it out there is because I feel that I really need to move my information forward in talking about the imbalance between men and women on the planet. And a lot of that comes from the programming that is in most women and most men in today's society. And it's important for me to discuss my insight and it's important for me to discuss my experience and to continue to share regardless of how it's received by some female members of the audience who may take certain piece of information personally and either defriend me or, or do something like that. You know, so they can get back at me on a uh, emotional level. Um, somebody messaged me yesterday. as a person that added me uh, a couple weeks ago. And I always notice right away a red flag when there's a lot of messages that come at once. Like, hey, so glad I found you. Oh, my God, awesome. You and that guy and that guy. And wow, respect. You know, like, ooh, coming on a little strong, ain't you? And then another message and another message. And another, this person probably sent me 30 individual messages. This married woman in Canada. Great looking little uh, spacey looking, though I could see where there is some, some real crazy inside there. And so on a intuition level, um, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing the signs. I'm seeing the warning signs. Long story short, without getting into specifics, she asked me for some relationship advice. <laughs> and it related to you know, something that really didn't seem that significant, but related to a blog and talking about someone that I don't even know may have committed a crime and, and the husband or boyfriend's uh, husband saying, nah, I don't know if we should put that out there. I don't know if we want to, you know, potentially create a bad situation for ourselves by getting involved in this and, and kind of asking me for advice on dealing with the husband or, uh, getting him to maybe see her way. I, I really didn't even want to read the whole sentence. I was just so put off by it. Because I felt her energy already coming in strong. And I even felt this woman connecting with me psychically. I could feel it. I could feel her attempt to reach out and make a connection. And of course, people are seeing me uh, talk about my pain. Openly. In, in some of the videos, I've shared some personal things. I really don't care. It's, it's a part of this video series, and it's going to continue. And I don't care if people unsubscribe, but in reality, more people are going to subscribe in the end. And more higher quality women will be drawn to my YouTube channel. And I also really appreciate the fact that someone that I used to be connected with in the past watches this channel. And I think about her a lot. I think about those good women in my life, even if things haven't gone in a perfect picket fence direction, I have a heart. And those other people in my life that have a heart know that I have a heart because they're able to sense it. And so I appreciate the connections and friendships that I have maintained over the years. Even if I'm in a lot of pain right now. Which I'm dealing with. But when someone wants to get close and act like they're going to heal that pain. Oh, you know, when they've got their own thing going on. Let me say this. Let me get to the whole point of this video. Married women often use single men on the internet and people like me are the most vulnerable of all because we're teachers. We're healers. We're providers of information. And I don't think that these women actually know what they're actually doing. I don't think that they're conscious of it. I think that a lot of women are motivated by getting attention all the time, whether that's healthy attention or unhealthy attention. I mentioned this in the video. Maybe that's why she defriended me, which is good because now she's blocked. Okay, because once people start going that direction, go, oh, I don't like what you, ha, 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 then they're already playing emotional games because they're not being fed. Or they were, they were fed something, they were told something that they didn't like. So they're going to get back. Knowing that person is emotionally vulnerable, they're going to get back. Yeah, get back at that man. They're going to get back. 
No, 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 no. I cut that shit out. Block. And if I know what their uh, YouTube name is, I go and I block that. And if there's times where I've blocked people that were actually my friends on Facebook and it was like an overreaction, I apologize. But sometimes I've apologized for situations where I should have never apologized and I should have left them on block. So in many cases, I've made the right decision to block people. I've also unblocked people and refriended people only to see them go bat shit on me and all of a sudden troll all of my YouTube videos that they could, you know, copy paste, come your piece of shit, fucking get that, almost like a demon's coming alive, you know, call the exorcist. Spiritual warfare, my friends, is alive and well. So married women, some of them, are uh, quite able to use a single guy on the internet who's a public speaker to meet their own emotional needs, to get attention, to get advice. Um, there's a lot of people out there in the truth movement that are not approachable, that will not talk to you. Um, there's a lot of people that like me and Mark Passio. Um, just so you guys know, Mark Passio does, never talks to me. Um, he's, he says very clearly, I'm not interested in, in being your friend. And he's a great public speaker though. And he put out, he puts out some good information. I, I would not look at him like a guru. I would not look at Mark Passio as a man that does not have skeletons in his closet as a man that is uh, without fault. I, I would stop now and just it, look at some of his information. Now start building on your own. Do not try to create a cult around some of us. It is not healthy mojo at all, at all, at all. How many times do you have to watch a lecture? I, I look at some people on YouTube and Facebook. That's all they do is follow this guy, Mark Passio. Anyway, the point is, is that there are people that see a lot of us in the same category. Or a similar category. And there's been a lot of crossover in material research. There's a Free Your Mind conference. Uh, there was that time that I interviewed Mark Passio. So a lot of us see us in, in a similar clan. So they get on Facebook and add us like, oh, hey, oh, Alex, you're the only person that actually talks back to us. Oh, my God. Hey, um, here's six messages. <laughs> oh, what do you think about that? You know, male and female. And it, it, it becomes draining. I mean, do people not understand that I'm homeless? She's like, oh, maybe I'll ask my husband for some money and we'll help you. All you guys are interested in is draining me intellectually and emotionally. Nobody's giving back. There's this one woman. There's a few people. There's one woman in Texas that I think gives more than she should in South Texas. And I really appreciate all the help that she has given me. But I like to see more people that actually care about my work share 5, 10, 20 here on a monthly basis. And then I'm going to be totally fine. But uh, I'm not going to depend on that. I'm trying to make more videos on the side to generate some AdSense. But I do not want to use anyone. And I like it when a variety of different people support me with a small amount. Um, I certainly don't want to see people feel like uh, they're responsible for my well-being. So when people send messages acting like they want to help, acting like they're concerned, oh, your camera, oh, your camera's in the river, oh, and then, you know, and, and, and when they're acting like, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll help you out, oh, and all they're really interested is sucking that etheric juice. And if they get something that they don't like, I spit it out and spit you out and defriend you. That's how it works. That's how you use people. That's how you use people. That's how it's done. That's classic. That's, that is 101 using people. People need to grow the fuck up. There's a reason why certain people don't message back their viewers. They've been burned so many times. They know there's some batshit people out there looking for the truth that are still suffering from the programming. So their programming every now and then emerges. And there's a lot of married women out there that use single men on the internet. And it is unhealthy. Their needs need to be met at home or they need to upgrade their relationship. That's it. Or upgrade the quality of their relationship with that certain person. Most people don't know how to do that. They know how to use someone, hump them for a period of time, pop out a few babies, and then hop to the next cock. That's how things have been done. That's bedroom politics. And nice guys finish laster than the, the nice guy porn stars. They're behind even them. That's right. There's, there's, there's a nice guy porn uh, 
porn star movement starting in Japan in a response to their really nasty shit. And apparently women are masturbating to it. They're masturbating to, to the imagery of a, of a cute little feminized Japanese boy making out with a pillow for crying out loud. Just this whole world's just getting sick. Have I talked about the cuddle orgy that's coming Valentine's Day to some convention center here in Portland or the cuddle house? It's going to be all these people cuddling at the same time on Valentine's Day. What a bunch of freaks. You know, that they just can't have a cuddle circle and leave money out of it. Oh, no. It's really all being done to draw publicity and attention to this entrepreneur who's probably not even native-born Portlanders. She's probably from New York. She's probably from L.A. She's like, oh, yeah, there was, you know, really in need of hugs. I could charge men for a hug. Yeah. Probably what she's going to end up doing is teaching other women how to really use men and charge them for hugs. The cuddle house business is going to grow in this new world order. You'll see. I called it years ago. Now it's, it's rearing its ugly head again. People are paying to cuddle. What the fuck? You know, I need to be addressing this men going their own way movement more and more because, you know, there is a spiritual place that we have to take it. We have to go beyond our desire to want to bed down with dogs. Bitches. People that are in lust mode butt sniffing, sniffing mode, people that aren't even able to understand that there are real issues going on in our society that need to be discussed. If they don't recognize that, if they're in such a low level of consciousness, be they male or female, they're a dog to me. Whether it's that police officer that's hitting someone over the head with a baton, or it's that girl that's actually ovulating and turned on by watching that police officer hit that man into submission. Our biology has been altered some way, somehow. And we, we really, we easily adapt as human beings, as homo sapiens, to our environment, to abuse, to corruption. We adapt to it. Our cells adapt to it. And that's part of nature. We're constantly adapting to uncomfortable situations. And I don't think that it's healthy to socially adapt easily to an enslavement experience and one without connection to your higher self or our true creator. I don't think that that is healthy. That is when we're deceived. That is when we're led to evil. And going back to my main topic. You know, there's a problem in today's society where we don't have more single women. And I'm going to talk more about this in another video because it's a long topic. Stepping up to the plate and playing their role in ending patriarchy. And patriarchy at its most primal level is the male pursuing the female because everything is about sexuality. Everything is about relationships. New world order, government, different tribes that have come together to kind of figure out how they're not going to kill each other and, and not starve. I mean, that's what civilizations become. Okay. All these different families encompassing neighborhoods, encompassing tribes, encompassing cities, States, counties, all the way up, all the way up to the new world order. And people say that they're against patriarchy, but we are not yet in a day and age where women are courting good men. Now, maybe that may happen within my lifetime. And, and it certainly is going to happen in certain pockets. And there's, and there's always going to be some women and some men that are going to do the right thing. But the majority of men and women are under a spell right now. And a big part of that spell is not just believing mainstream media propaganda. It, 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 it's, it's engaging in relationships in a certain way, even after you're married. Even after you find your boyfriend or your girlfriend. You know, most men, when they find a good woman... Now focusing on male responsibility, they should focus just on that good woman. You know, they, they probably shouldn't be wasting their time on pornography. They probably shouldn't be wasting their time at the strip club. They probably shouldn't be wasting their time trying to cheat on another young piece of ass. Because let me tell you something, women. Let me tell you something, men. I know what reality is. Women get real turned on by a man who's already with another woman. I am invisible. When I walk through the streets of Portland, unless they're making sure I'm not a threat, unless they're just lusting after me after I've finished to work out the gym, they're going, oh yeah, that looks nice, as if they actually care about who I really am. Just all primal. 
but you walk around with a woman and that woman at that restaurant that you're eating at will compare themselves to that woman. It's just shocking how many times it happens to me. And they'll give me this smile as if, ooh, they think I'm somebody. What the fuck, man? Who coded our genes? Who coded our genes? Who made us this way? Because no man, no woman is consciously evolved if they are not questioning why we were made to be so dishonest to each other. When it comes to bedroom politics... As the bedroom conspiracy rolls on another day in this new world order. Deception, lie, greed, abuse, use, and throwing away. All the new world order is doing is just mirroring what we've done to ourselves and what we have allowed to take place and be built around us. I don't think that women today are actually cognitive of the responsibility that they bear in what kind of world we live in based on the type of men that they pick. I don't think that they're actually cognitive of that. I don't think that they are. Women are quicker to call other women bitches or to call other women crazy than actually look at the programming. Even this married woman, she would say, yeah, I really appreciate you know, your, uh, your, your, your viewpoint on women, they definitely are crazy and blah. She's, she's misquoting me. You know, it's like, no, I don't hate women. I don't hate men. I don't like the programming. And I'm man enough, I'm adult enough, I'm connected enough with my feminine side to actually speak for the plight of women in a world where many women do not. I believe that we were basically created, especially the female body, to follow the dominator system on a biological level. And that is a part of the human experience. And I don't know why it's taking people so long to understand that there is a higher consciousness that is so far evolved and outside of the box of our physical coding, our human DNA. I think that we need to discuss human DNA. I think we need to discuss body consciousness and the positive and perhaps negative aspects of it. Now, without beating ourselves up because we're merely human, I think that we need to have adult conversations about sexuality. I think that we need to have adult conversations about, you know, what does it really mean to, to live independently in freedom, we need to have adult conversations as to what it means to be a conscious man as opposed to be being another beast, another unconscious man. We need to have adult conversations as to what it means to be a real woman, not another counterfeit goddess running around trying to convince people to worship her ass. A lot of women are under a spell simply because they're human beings, not because they're inherently evil, but because they're in physical form, just like men. And they have their own unique challenges to contend with. And I think that women can come under incredible, incredible psychic attack from the demonic realms. Or the archonic realms. Or the realms of the unseen, because women, with them, women, it's about cr creativity of life. It's about creating babies. There's so much involved in the female system that is bringing forth all of the life, all of the men that end up in these armies of death, raping women and, and, and killing men and uh, putting their children to mass graves. They came from women. It doesn't mean that the woman is evil for creating those soldiers of army of death, but at some point there was a link that was broken between mother and son for her son to go into such a route to where he's murdering other women and children, even though he came from a woman. Now we're describing the American experience. Look about the, look at the hardcore, um, the rise of pornography that has people that aren't even watching pornography alarmed about the things that they're reading now. Apparently things are happening in that world that were not seen 10 years ago and 20 years ago. And there's a certain percentage of men that occasionally will look at porn. But it has to be said that that industry, including what's on regular TV, regular TV, young children watching mainstream TV, mainstream media, and playing mainstream video games are being exposed to more pornographic images to keep us in this animal state.
And it's so really sad. It's so it's so fundamentally sad. All the men out there that are cheating on their wives and girlfriends. All the single men and women out there that should be finding each other. That should be enjoying each other's company. That should be enjoying the lovemaking experience, which is healing. There's lust and there's love. We don't have enough love in our lives. We don't have enough love on our planet. Our planet is consumed with the spirit of lust, which comes from darker forces, darker energies. Sexuality is one of those things that goes different ways. It has this, this spectrum, like the light spectrum. And a lot of human beings don't understand that. They still have not flipped on to the, to the power of real love and compassion and empathy. People have been very, very influenced by the barbaric way that we live, by the way that we've treated the earth, by the way that we're living in our cities, the way that we treat ourselves. It, it's all mirroring itself in the relationship experience. There's just all this unneeded fighting and competition. Where is the love? I'd hear that song right now if I had a boombox with that track lined up. Seriously, folks, where is the love? And let me conclude here. A lot of married women out there, and I appreciate those that are married, that are watching this video series, that occasionally say, hi, I'm not attacking you. But I can list a number of situations where I've been used, and it needs to end. More single women need to step up to the plate and in patriarchy, in the male-dominated society, by actually overcoming their slave genes and perhaps aspects of their sexuality that have been... Uh, infected evolve that sexuality become a real woman grow some tits i don't necessarily mean some big ones but just connect with your feminine self and actually be proactive in reaching out to a man that you deem to be good get out of this mindset of you have to be courted all the time for it to be something that turns you on or that you have to play hard to get Get out of the biological gene pool that you may have been a slave to your entire life that may keep leading you to bad dudes. And I'm not saying you got to be into me. But I know that because I don't play the game and I'm non-materialistic and I'm all about being bluntly honest about things that are ongoing with my life that I volunteer information that is obviously a turnoff. I don't care. Good. Let it turn you off. You're obviously a person who's too deep into the matrix to even be attractive to me. What do you think about those apples? Women so into the matrix at this point aren't even sexually attractive to me. There's an aspect of my biology that go, oh yeah, she's mm-hmm. And that's it. Turn off, flip, look this way. And that's how I live my life today. Single women to end patriarchy need to step up to the plate and go after the good men of this world and try to keep their lustful nature in check, not be so turned on by the, by the bad boys of this world willing to kill innocent women, children, and men. Okay, Serving the military industrial complex, putting on the super soldier outfit. Men, men need to evolve to the point where they're not so easily mystified by all this flesh. Not so willing to do whatever the woman wants, to be turned to evil, to be turned to materialism, buying things. Good men need to start showing that they're good men and attracting better women into their lives. We need to stop being submissive and to cease and desist from being submissive to bad women. We have to cease and desist from being submissive to our own lust that leads us into that web and into that trap. Married women need to focus on their husbands. Work on their own evolution. If they actually come to a, to a point of being actually strong, maybe they should consider uh, working against patriarchy and actually getting involved in the alternative media. Starting their own YouTube channel. Sharing their own truth. Now, if they're really evolved or if humans are really, really moving, and I know I'm sounding judgmental, and oh, Alex is just being judgmental. I don't know how to take it on any. Oh. I've said this before. When when man and woman together speak truth, be it on video, be it in writing, that's some powerful energy. That's a powerful fusion of God essence. When there's sexuality mixed in with teaching, with writing, 
Wow. There aren't a lot of examples of that. But I believe that when two people are working together against evil, exposing the arconic forces, that they're a stronger force to be reckoned with. That when a man loves a woman, a man loves a... Okay, I'll stop now. Um, when a man loves a woman, and when a woman loves a man, and they are fighting evil together, they cannot be defeated. They cannot be defeated. It doesn't mean that they're never going to come against challenge. Perhaps really bad shit could happen to them because it's trying to tear them apart. But it's a very powerful energy. And it's rare. Uh, there are many men and women that are sexually attracted to each other and they're not doing a fucking thing but fucking each other. And, be, oh God, oh, 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 oh. you know, th they're not doing anything to fight the evil of this world. But having an orgasm in their bed, in their castle, that they'll never own as they simulate what it means maybe to be a human as many people in these so-called happy relationships are looking more like clones and robots and want to be Ken, Ken and Barbies, you know, the Ken and Barbies of this world. It's amazing how many unconscious people are attracted together that seem to really enjoy each other's company, you know, drinking all night and fucking watching TV and playing video games. And a lot of zombies are, are drawn to each other. But people that are actually involved in putting information out there that's powerful. And there aren't very many examples of that in our world. There's a lot of fear associated with that. And sometimes it just doesn't work out very well. And honestly, since I've been born into this planet in the year 1980, I've mostly seen men sharing some of these deeper truths. Uh, I always appreciate it when I do find females. And that is, to me, the most sexiest thing that exists, a female that's actually involved in writing her own book or uh, her own show, especially if she's independent and doesn't need a man or doesn't need a kowtow to the system or you know doesn't need to actually be paid a certain amount or six figures to actually report on something, unlike the girls over at RT, unlike the girls over at Al Jazeera and other networks. You don't see that same type of drive independently from single women. I mean, if you look at most of the videos that women are uploading onto YouTube from the younger generation, it's twerking. It's shaking that ass. It is shaking that ass. And that should be a really clear definer as to where consciousness actually is on the planet today. In conclusion, we should seek to become more conscious than what we currently are. Men, women, single, and those that are married. And in order to do that, you've got to be honest with yourself about what situation we're actually in. And not play games with people, not use people, but seek to become a better person second to second and day to day. Thank you for watching.